When The Sound of Music was released in 1965, it took the world by storm, earning five Oscars. For millions of people, the film is the rare combination of a powerful and moving story, first-rate music, and the breathtaking scenery of Salzburg. The musical tells the story of Maria, who takes a job as governess to a large family while she decides whether to become a nun. She falls in love with the children and their widowed father, Captain Von Trapp. He is ordered to accept a commission in the German Navy, but he opposes the Nazis. He and Maria decide to flee from Austria with the children. Have you ever wondered about the background of the sound of music? Well, look no further. Here we dive into the plot. The Sound of Music is a 1965 American musical drama film produced and directed by Robert Wise and starring Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer, with Richard Hyden, Peggy Wood, Charmian Carr, and Eleanor Parker. The film is an adaptation of the 1959 stage musical of the same name, composed by Richard Rogers with lyrics by Oscar Hammerstein. The film's screenplay was written by Ernest Lehman and adapted from the musical stage book by Lindsay and Krauss. Based on the 1949 memoir, The Story of the Trapp Family Singers, by Maria von Trapp, the film is about a young Austrian postulant in Salzburg, Austria, in 1938 who was sent to the villa of a retired naval officer and widower to be governess to his seven children. After bringing love and music into the lives of the family, she marries the officer and, together with the children, finds a way to survive the loss of their homeland to the Nazis. Filming took place from March to September 1964 in Los Angeles and Salzburg. The Sound of Music was released on March 2, 1965, in the United States, initially as a limited roadshow theatrical release. Although the initial critical response to the film was mixed, it was a major commercial success, becoming the number one box office film after four weeks and the highest grossing film of 1965. By November 1966, The Sound of Music had become the highest grossing film of all time, surpassing Gone with the Wind, and held that distinction for five years. The film was just as popular throughout the world, breaking previous box office records in 29 countries. Following an initial theatrical release that lasted four and a half years, and two successful re-releases, the film sold 283 million admissions worldwide and earned a total worldwide gross of $286 million. The Sound of Music received five Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director, Wise's second pair of both awards, the first being from the 1961 film, West Side Story. The film also received two Golden Globe Awards, for Best Motion Picture and Best Actress, the Directors Guild of America Award for Outstanding Directorial Achievement, and the Writers Guild of America Award for Best Written American Musical. In 1998, the American Film Institute AFI, listed The Sound of Music as the 55th greatest American film of all time, and the 4th greatest film musical. In 2001, the United States Library of Congress selected the film for preservation in the National Film Registry, finding it culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Maria is a free-spirited young Austrian woman studying to become a nun at Nonberg Abbey in Salzburg in 1938. Her youthful enthusiasm and lack of discipline cause some concern. Mother Abbess sends Maria to the villa of retired naval officer Captain George Von Trapp to be a governess to his seven children, Liesel, Friedrich, Louisa, Kurt, Brigida, Marta, and Gretel. The captain has been raising his children alone, using strict military discipline following the death of his wife. Although the children misbehave at first, Maria responds with kindness and patience, and soon the children come to trust and respect her. While the captain is away in Vienna, Maria makes play clothes for the children from drapes that are to be changed. She takes them around Salzburg and the mountains while teaching them how to sing. When the captain returns to the villa with Baroness Elsa Schrader, a wealthy socialite, and their mutual friend Max Detweiler, they are greeted by Maria and the children returning from a boat ride on the lake that concludes when their boat overturns. Displeased by his children's clothes and activities and Maria's impassioned appeal that he get closer to his children, the captain attempts to fire Maria. However, he hears singing coming from inside the house and is astonished to see his children singing for the Baroness. 
Filled with emotion, the captain joins his children, singing for the first time in years. The captain apologizes to Maria and asks her to stay. Impressed by the children's singing, Max proposes he enter them in the upcoming Salzburg festival, but the captain disapproves of letting his children sing in public. During a grand party at the villa, where guests in formal attire waltz in the ballroom, Maria and the children look on from the garden terrace. When the captain notices Maria teaching Kurt the traditional Landler folk dance, he steps in and partners Maria in a graceful performance, culminating in a close embrace. Confused about her feelings, Maria blushes and breaks away. Later, the Baroness, who notices the captain's attraction to Maria, hides her jealousy by indirectly convincing Maria that she must return to the Abbey. However, Mother Abbess learns that Maria has stayed in seclusion to avoid her feelings for the captain, so she encourages her to return to the villa to look for her purpose in life. When Maria returns to the villa, she learns about the captain's engagement with the Baroness and agrees to stay until they find a replacement governess. However, the Baroness learns that the captain's feelings for Maria haven't changed, so she peacefully calls off the engagement and returns to Vienna while encouraging the captain to express his feelings for Maria, who marries him. While the couple is on their honeymoon, Max enters the children into the Salzburg festival against their father's wishes. Having learned that Austria has been annexed by the Third Reich, the couple return to their home, where Captain receives a telegram, ordering him to report to the German naval base at Bremerhaven to accept a commission in the Kriegsmarine. Strongly opposed to the Nazis and the Anschluss, the captain tells his family they must leave Austria immediately. That night, the Von Trapp family attempt to flee to Switzerland, but they are stopped by a group of brown shirts, led by the Gauleiter Hans Zeller, waiting outside the villa. To cover his family's tracks, the captain maintains they are headed to the Salzburg festival to perform. Zeller insists on escorting them to the festival, after which his men will accompany the captain to Bremerhaven. Later that night at the festival, during their final number, the Von Trapp family slips away and seeks shelter at the abbey, where Mother Abbess hides them in the cemetery crypt. Zeller and his men soon arrive and search the abbey, but the family is able to escape using the caretaker's car. When the soldiers attempt to pursue, they discover their cars will not start, as two of the nuns have sabotaged their engines. The next morning, after driving to the Swiss border, the Von Trapp family made their way on foot across the frontier into Switzerland to safety and freedom. The Sound of Music story is based on Maria Von Trapp's memoir, The Story of the Trapp Family Singers, published in 1949 to help promote her family's singing group following the death of her husband, George, in 1947. Hollywood producers expressed interest in purchasing the title only, but Maria refused, wanting her entire story to be told. In 1956, German producer Wolfgang Liebeniner purchased the film rights for $9,000, equivalent to $90,000 in 2022, hired George Herdelec and Herbert Reinecker to write the screenplay, and Franz Grothy to supervise the soundtrack, which consisted of traditional Austrian folk songs. The Trapp family was released in West Germany on October 9, 1956, and became a major success. Two years later, Liebeniner directed a sequel, The Trapp Family in America, and the two pictures became the most successful films in West Germany during the post-war years. Their popularity extended throughout Europe and South America. In 1956, Paramount Pictures purchased the United States film rights, intending to produce an English-language version with Audrey Hepburn as Maria. The studio eventually dropped its option, but one of its directors, Vincent J. Donahue, proposed the story as a stage musical for Mary Martin. Producers Richard Halliday and Leland Hayward secured the rights and hired playwrights Howard Lindsay and Russell Krauss, who had won the Pulitzer Prize for State of the Union. They approached Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein to compose one song for the musical, but the composers felt the two styles, traditional Austrian folk songs and their composition would not work together. They offered to write a completely new score for the entire production, if the producers were willing to wait while they completed work on Flower Drum Song. The producers quickly responded that they would wait as long as necessary. 
The Sound of Music stage musical opened on November 16, 1959, at the Lundfontein Theatre in New York City, and ran on Broadway for 1,443 performances, winning six Tony Awards, including Best Musical. In June 1960, 20th Century Fox purchased the film adaptation rights to the stage musical for $1.25 million, equivalent to $11,400,000 in 2022, against 10% of the gross. How do you produce a film which is not only good, but also a commercial success? The Sound of Music is an excellent example. Robert Wise, the director of the Hollywood movie, once explained it like this. The Sound of Music became such a success because it tells a true story in one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. This story touches your heart, the main roles are played mainly by children, and the city of Salzburg provides an unforgettable backdrop. What are your thoughts? Please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.